Alright guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are here at my old chicken coop. Keyword old. I don't know what's going to really be in this vlog. I don't know, maybe a bunch of random stuff, but I'm going to do some archery practice with my bow. Because this is probably the first time I've sh shot my bow since I shot my cow elk. I got my bow and we're just going to see how the day turns out. Alright, we're doing some garden chores. I'm watering. You guys can see that's pretty dry. This is decently wet. Uh, these are carrots right here. And those are just some flowers. Uh, we got some peas over here. And then we just have a bunch of other stuff. Alright, so earlier I was just shooting around. I didn't really do too much things. Right now, I'm gonna shoot as if I'm actually hunting. So this is more of a situation where you're kinda spot and stalking or you're hiking around and just trying to call in the bull. So I gotta get past drawing my bino harness and also just a bunch of these things. The thing is, I have this configured for my rifle hunting. So right now, uh, you know, you guys are gonna experience firsthand how this setup might not be the most effective for uh, bow hunting so I do have my rangefinder right here but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to move my rangefinder to this side because if I leave it on my left side that means my right hand's gonna have to hold the bow and when I'm ranging then I have to use my left hand and bring it up and then switch but with my right hand if I put it on this side I could just hold my bow like this range drop it and clip on so we'll see if we can even draw it is like seven yards So good. That's gonna make some problems. A lot of this junk right here might not be the most effective. So like I said, I might have to move all these to my right side or I might just have to get rid of some stuff in front of me. We'll see. Today's July 2nd and we are going to go sturgeon fishing tomorrow, Tuesday, until Wednesday. So we, my brother and I, we're about to, we're about to head out to a lake to go catch some bait to get a bucket so we can keep our fish alive. So the lake's only like 40 minutes, if even, away from home. So we'll see if we can go catch some bait. It's really cloudy. So hopefully the, the panfish are out. I almost broke all the rods. All right, super windy, pretty cold too. We'll see how this goes. All right, here we go. We already got two. Oh, that was a bite. All right, so my brother already got three in less than a minute. I got one too. I got one too. All right. This turned out a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Bro, these are perfect size. I might even be able to get and do some bass fishing at this rate. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, he's on. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, that's a pretty large mouth. Okay, now we're just getting hit by bass. I do have all my bass rig right there. There's gotta be a big mama in here. Oh, that's a copy. Dude, they, these things are freaking toying with me. 
It's probably a bass or a bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Dang, I got this guy good. Dang, that can hit hard. Dude, we're freaking crushing. This is a lot easier than I thought. I thought since the weather kind of sucked in terms of crappie fishing, we're going to have a hard time, but heck no. All right, well, I just landed this nice two-pounder. And look how beat up that guy's gill is. Sweet. We are having a blast out here. Good old wacky rig. Can't beat the wacky rig. Where's my peg? The peg's right here. Let's try to get another one. First cast on this side with the wacky. Alright, so we made it just in time before the storm hits. It's starting to rain. We came here, we probably fished for like maybe 15 minutes if even. We got what we came for, so we're just gonna head back home. Alright, good morning. I believe today is like July 6th. And we are headed up the mountain to go set up our trail cams. It's kind of late. I said I was gonna do this like two weeks ago, but I've been a little too busy. So today's like my last day to set it up if I want to set it up early. I had to make a quick run for it. So we left our house around around 4:30. Right now it's 6:40 and the sun is steaming hot. Set up the three trail cams that I have at the water hole and just come back home and that's gonna do it for this trip. First is we need to get to the water hole. Also brought the rifle just for the heck of it. Hopefully the trail cams work. It's super fresh. Last thing we want to do is bump them. We have some very, very fresh elk sign. It's definitely within 24 hours. Where water hole is just down there. The last thing I want to do is go down there and spook them. So we're going to try to be as careful as possible. Hopefully the wind starts blowing uphill. All right, let's go down there. All right, we are done. Got one right here, looking towards the water hole. Got one up there looking down. And got one right there looking down here. We are done, we're gonna get out. We are getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Holy goodness. That was a mosquito buffet. The moment you enter that, you sign a contract with the mosquitoes that they can bite you all they want. Set up the trail cams. We just gotta get over this hill. And it's just all downhill from there. This freaking thing right here is a lifesaver. I didn't want to talk too loud down there because I didn't want to spook anything if they were in the area. So we just quickly set up our trail cams and dipped. Woo! Look. We have finally made it back to the main road. And now it is all downhill. What a morning. I'm getting roasted by the sun, sweating like a pig, to getting eaten live by mosquitoes. All right, so we just stopped by this little 
runoff creek right here. Usually by now, this creek has actually dried out. But I guess from this year being a, a lot cooler than other summers. I mean, today's the second, I believe today's the second day we've hit 90 all year. And it's already July. And so this creek just goes down here. Just wash the face, make it not so sticky, just refreshing up because we're, the car is actually just not too far, maybe another half mile or something like that, and then should get to the car. Whew. Feels nice to be up here though. Fine, just be up at the mountains, see some deer, some moose. We've yet to see an elk, but we did see a lot of elk signs though. The good thing is the mosquitoes, they kind of die down, but I'm just gonna say like dude the damage has been done. I don't know if the camera can capture it well, but on my right hand, my left hand arm, my calves. It's gonna be itchy tonight, that's for sure. But alright, let's get to the car. Dang. That's huckleberries, dude. Where was that? During spring bear. <laughs> 